The death of the Challenger space shuttle two and a half years ago doesn't seem that long, does it? But for singer John Denver, it's a day he'll never forget. You see, he was supposed to have been on board, but school teacher Krista McAuliffe took his place. She was flying for me, she was flying for everyone. She was trying to see a brighter day for each and everyone. She gave us her light, she gave us her spirit, and all she could be. She was it's not widely known, but in fact it was John Denver who convinced President Reagan to allow civilians in space and Denver was offered a seat on the Challenger, but it was knocked back because it was thought the public may have believed he was getting preferential treatment. They were flying for me. They were flying for me. They were flying for me. But it has always been a dream of Denver's to soar and land like an eagle. However, John Denver has more than a dream to walk in space. He has a very down-to-earth goal, that of putting an end to scenes like these. He says his heart breaks at the thought of little children dying of hunger, and he wants to eliminate it by the end of the century. We are developing uh, alternative way, uh, ways to, uh, to grow food uh, that have been very, very productive. Our biodome is, uh, is working beyond uh, really anybody's uh, anticipation. I think it's going to be one of the real answers to the problem of hunger around the world. And the way he's doing this is under huge biodomes. Called the Windstar experiment, it has cost Denver more than 11 million dollars. And uh, we're trying to develop a facility that, that'll make it a little bit more of a, a year-round facility for a workshop for people to gather and, and, and discuss and, and to work on things. Right now it's hard to do that in the winter, although we do, we've done pretty well growing food there in the winter. <laughs> we, we can't have people sleeping in teepees who come for the workshops in the winter. So. And as the huge 25-metre glass domes produce tropical fruit when outside it's 40 below, Denver says he's confident his Rocky Mountain experiment will work just as well in the desert. Well, the truth is that we produce enough to feed twice the population of the world, that there's not too many people. And a big part of the problem is distribution. But another part of the problem is, uh, is people being able to grow food where they live, no matter what kind of environment they, they live in. And that's one of the things that Windstar is responding to. Uh, it's said that Africa, Africa can feed not only itself, but, but all of Western Europe. But yesterday at Perth's airport, the country singer insisted his fears for humanity and the care he has for the ecology hasn't changed his singing style at all. Thank you. But like everyone, he has changed. Once he wrote and sang about his first wife, Annie. Now he sings about his bride-to-be. This is a little love song that I wrote for the woman I'm going to marry. Cassandra, this is for you. And what about wedding plans? When are you getting married now? Oh, you guys. We were going to get married here in, uh, uh, in Australia during this tour. We're, we're now going to get married in September in, in Colorado. Just the beat of my heart. Just the pledge of my life, my love for you. 